Hello friends, thank you for joining me again. Tonight is going to be the last cold night here at the cabin. Uh, temperatures are supposed to rise above 50 and stay that way, so fingers crossed, we'll see how that goes. Uh, tonight I got my daughter with me. Hi. She's my little twin. Now the past couple days has been pretty rough for me. I know I promised you that I was going to do a video out in the woods. I tried yesterday. Uh, I've been sick the past few days. I got out there. It was raining like crazy. And that was fine. I don't mind being out in the rain and I don't mind being sick. But I drove all the way over there, hiked out in the woods, went to start filming and realized I forgot my SD card. Rookie mistake, I know. But I said, forget it. You know, before I get too frustrated, I'm just going to go home, relax. And so tonight I figured we'd do a little overnighter here with my daughter. She's got to be at school in the morning, so I'm probably not going to film much tomorrow morning because I'm going to pack everything tonight, get it ready. i got to get her up extra early so she can get home and get a shower and catch the bus. What time you got to get on the bus? Like 7.50. 7.50? 7 7.40. So if I get you home by 7, you can get a shower and make the bus, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Anyways, her name is Trista. This is my oldest. And I know you're probably wondering, dang, how many kids you got? I've got five. I got three boys and two girls. And all with the same woman. We've been together since we were teenagers, so you were the first one. Sucks being the oldest, don't it? But anyways, tonight we're making some jambalaya. And we're going to hit the sack early. I got my guitar out here. I'm going to practice it a little bit. But, uh... You know, it's been a rough couple days, and today it was kind of rough. You know, a few things went wrong, but I'm not complaining. A bad day at the cabin is still better than a good day at work. So. Can I cut the sausages? What? Can I cut the sausages? Yeah, you go ahead. The fire's getting ready, so as soon as you get that cut, we'll be here. Here we go. This is one of our favorite meals, ain't it? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I love jambalaya. Oh, thanks. Mmm. I love sausages. Mm-hmm. Trista. What? Why are you on your phone? Come on. Come on. No phones in the cabin. When we're done with all the work, maybe. Okay. Now, I figured it was time to start decorating this place a little bit. Now, a few years ago, I started painting a little bit. I haven't done it in a while. But basically, this painting here is just kind of someplace I wish I was, you know. I kind of imagine being up in Alaska in a little cabin with pine trees everywhere, but this was supposed to look like a, like a frozen creek that runs alongside the house. It didn't turn out too well, but I think it's okay. I got a few more paintings I might throw in here. Hell, I might start even doing it again. I don't know. I apologize if this isn't a very exciting video. But I did want to take the time to thank you for 4,000 subscribers. We just passed that yesterday. We're growing pretty quick, and I thank every one of you for that. You guys are awesome. I'm also, at the end of this video, going to answer some more of your guys' questions. Well, it's time for the water. It says 2.5 cups, which I believe is 20 ounces. This is 16 ounces. And then that would be about a quarter of this. What? We're going to screw this up. No, we're not going to screw it up. If we do, oh well. At least our belly be full. Yeah. I've ate a lot worse, trust me. I know. My fat fingers don't want to work. Yeah. I got it. Watch out. Oh, look. Okay, we're off to a great start, ain't we? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to get a little bit more wood and sticks and stuff in here to get that fire really roaring. Okay. I didn't notice until now that this is the jambalaya that has the cheese mix in it. I've never had it before, but I'm sure it's pretty good. 
Food's almost done and Trista's finishing up cutting some more wood for tonight. Thought I'd take this time to let you guys see this book that I bought last week. It's called Your Cabin in the Woods by Conrad E. Meineke. Uh, this thing is pretty awesome. Takes you from the beginning, you know. It has different plans for cabins and things like that. How to do foundation. It even has a section in here on rustic furniture. How to build your own furniture. Beds and couches and tables and all that stuff. But I highly recommend this book. But for those of you who are new here, I've said in past videos that my dream one day is to have a big piece of land out in the middle of nowhere and put a little off-grid cabin on it. Um, but for now, this, this cabin would be just fine. Uh, it's a nice little getaway. I get out here on the weekends. I bring the kids with me. And uh, we have a good time. But if you are new here, I invite you to check out my other videos and hit the subscribe button if you would. That would be awesome. You're sweating. <laughs> Cutting wood's fun, ain't it? Don't hit that top string on the D. Dad. What? How do the how do you do the T again? Middle finger here. Here. Right there. Right there. This one. Right there. Right there. That one on the bottom. Okay. back to the D. Can you switch back and forth? You want me to teach you a little trick? When you're going from the D to the G, this finger can stay right there because that note is in both. So when you're at the D, which is right here, all you have to do is leave that finger there and bring these up and that one down. There's your G chord. Crystal, will you hand me a bottle of water, please? Well, you don't want no coffee? I've had enough coffee. Thank you. Not bad. I think I like a regular jambalaya better though. Me too. Jambalaya is so good it really don't need cheese. Cheese is just for when you need to make something taste better. Mm-hmm. Like a hamburger. Mm-hmm. Or ch chips. Mm-hmm. Well, we got our bellies full. Trista said she wanted to walk the edge of the woods and see if she could find some mushrooms. It's too early for that. They're not out yet, but whatever. I'll let her go out there and walk around a little bit. It gives me a chance to answer all these questions you guys asked. And I want to thank you in advance for sending these in. Now, I usually write all these questions down in my leather notebook, but I'm running out of pages. I normally do that. That way I ain't got to try to go through my phone because there's a couple different places where people ask questions but uh, 
Anyways, the first question is from Larry, and he asks, What's with all the tattoos? Have you been to prison or something? <laughs> no, I haven't been to prison. I haven't been to jail. Not yet, anyways. Knock on wood. Uh, I, don't, I only wanted one tattoo. One turned into two. Two turned into... Two turned into four, and four turned into like 40. So, I don't know. Uh, and I'm not done. I want more. Uh, honestly, my first interest in tattoos came from when I was really young. Uh, growing up, I loved Motley Crue, and I loved Guns N' Roses, and seeing those dudes with all them tattoos, I'm like, I want that. Uh, I know somebody's probably going to be like, hey, do you regret them? Not really. You know? Uh, I'm a truck driver, so... They don't give a crap what we look like as long as we get our stuff there on time and we don't kill anybody while we do it. Cam Waggle asks, what is the main goal for your channel? Uh, I really don't know. Uh, I haven't really sat out any goals. All I know is I'd like to come out with a video at least once a week, either in the cabin or out in the woods. But I think as it gets warmer, I'm going to do a lot more out outside in the woods videos. Uh, I love being in the cabin when it's cold and when it's hot outside. You know, I like being out in the woods, so my plan was for this video to be out there, but a lot of stuff happened. But like I said before, a bad day in the cabin is still better than a good day at work. Okay. Zach Ott, O-T-T, -T, Zach Ott asks, When did you discover your joy for cooking? <laughs> well, growing up I did a lot of cooking, because the way it worked at my house was, my mom always cooked dinner, but we had to fend for ourselves for breakfast and lunch. Now, we had plenty of food in the fridge, but my mom's like, look, you guys are going to learn how to cook. Best way to do that is you cook your own breakfast, cook your own lunch, and I'll make dinner every night. And that's what she did. So I ate a lot of eggs. I think that's where my love for eggs uh, comes from. I've That's probably why I make eggs as good as I do, because I probably cooked about 20,000 of them things. But thank you for the question, Zach. Oi, Stein, hold on. I know I'm going to butcher this, buddy, and I'm sorry. Oi, Stein Hagen asks, have you ever camped in any other countries? No, I haven't, but I'd love to. I'd love to go to Canada. A lot of the bushcraft guys I watch, they're in Canada, and it just looks beautiful up there. Um, you know, I'd love to go to Ireland and the UK and places like that. I think that'd be great. Um, speaking of other countries, though, I want to say thank you. There's been a lot of people send me messages saying they're from Scotland, Australia, Norway, Switzerland, the UK, and even Canada, and uh, that really surprises me. Uh, I don't know what you guys like about watching a hillbilly in a tiny cabin, but hey, keep on watching. I appreciate you. Maria Salazar asks, hi, my questions are, how big is the pond? Do you add fish to the pond, and do you eat the fish? Sorry if my question sounds silly, but I'm curious. Don't sound silly at all. I mean, listen to me talk. That's silly. But uh, the pond is not very big. You know, uh, in the s summertime, it actually dries out. There's no fish in it. There's plenty of frogs. If you watched my last video, you know you heard them spring peepers. They're driving me crazy, but I don't really heard them much today. Here comes Trista. Hold on. Did you find any mushrooms? No. <laughs> I didn't think you would. Well, come over here and sit down. I'm answering some questions. Next question is from David Perry from Scotland. Scotland. Have you any plans to upgrade or modify the cabin? If so, are you going to make a video? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is, is take all the other wood I have laying around here and make the outside of the cabin look like the inside of the cabin. I think it'd look better. A part of me doesn't want to do that because this is known as the ugly cabin and if I put this stuff on the outside it won't be so ugly no more but we'll still call it the ugly cabin. But thank you David I appreciate the question. Wait the end of it he did ask if I was going to make a video. Yes I will make a video of that if I do that. Antonius VD Kleiss. I swear I know how to read guys but some of these names I apologize I'm, I'm having trouble with. Anyways, he basically asks if on the family property here, is there a creek that runs through it? No, there's not a creek that runs through it, but I'm hoping to make a video where I grew up and there's a big creek that runs right through it called Otter Creek and it's huge. There's all kinds of fish in there. 
My plan for my last video was to just take a stick, attach some fishing line and a hook and try to catch a fish. But my weekend didn't turn out that great, but that's okay. We might do it next weekend. Yeah, we might do it next weekend. CLRC Odyssey asks, what sort of content do you plan to include on your channel? How about backpacking, hiking, product review, or how to camp videos? Love the content that you have now. Just wondering where it might go in the future. Backpacking and hiking, definitely. Lord knows I could use the exercise. Um, stop laughing. <laughs> product review. Um, I don't know if I'll do very many product reviews. Um, may I'm definitely going to make a video of the stuff that I already use, but as far as sponsorship product reviews, I'm not too interested in that unless it makes sense. And you also asked if I'm going to make how to camp videos. Maybe. Uh, probably as I'm setting up <coughs> camps out in the woods, I'll you know give you a few tips here and there. I'm not a survival expert. <laughs> Actually, I'm not an expert at anything. But uh, there are a few things that I might be able to teach you. As far as... Uh, where this channel might go in the future, I don't really know. I'm basically kind of winging it at this point. Um, I try not to make too many plans for my video because if you've ever made videos, you kind of know that things don't always go the way you plan. So have basic. I have basically an idea of what I want to do in my videos, but you know, I don't. I don't have an itinerary, if that's the right word, uh, as far as everything that I'm going to show and the. But uh, every week I'll just wing a video and, and kind of go where it wants to. Mr. Awesome asks, what's your favorite part about being outdoors? It's a great question. I really don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can pick just my favorite part. I just like being outside. I don't like being cooped up in the house all the time. Every once in a while, you know, it's good just to lay in bed and watch TV. But I need to be constantly doing something. Um, another thing I like about it is... Ever since I was little, I've always kind of been fascinated with the Old West and even before that, pioneers and things like that. So when I'm out in the woods or out in the cabin, I, you know, I sometimes feel like I'm, you know, back in the 1800s or whatever, which is kind of cool. But I'm soon reminded when I look at a camera here that it's 2019. But uh, thank you for the question. Harvey McCarter asks, love your channel. I was a truck driver for 11 years, so I think I know the answer to this question, but here goes. Do you have any desire to do a camping bushcraft road trip? And if so, where to? Uh, that would be cool. A few years ago, I had to back out of something, but I was supposed to meet some friends. I have some friends in Texas. I was supposed to meet some friends in Arkansas, and I believe it was called the Wachita National Forest. We were supposed to go hiking. And, you know, camping. I think it was supposed to last three days. It's like a big circle. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know anything about this. But you start at the beginning, and it takes a few days to get around this whole circle hiking. And I had to back out because I had vacation planned, had it set up, and then at the last minute, work basically told me I couldn't go on vacation no more. But I don't work for that company no more, so that works out great. Um... I can't think of, I'm sure there's a million places I love to go, but uh, that's the first one that comes to mind. Thank you for the question. I would be Arizona. Arizona? Hmm. Too hot. <laughs> Jeff Smiley asks, do you hunt and have you taken your sons and nephew with you? Yes, I do. Mostly duck and deer. Um, yeah, I've taken my sons with me. I haven't taken my nephews with me. I've even taken Trista with me one time. She liked it. Um, she's a tomboy. I always say that, you know, she's my first son. So, she basically wants to do anything I do, which is cool. But, uh, thank you for the question. Darren Savage asks, Do you ever go to Hoosier National Forest? Have you as a child and now that you have a family? I went as a kid. I haven't been in a long time. I really want to, though. I think that'd be a great place to camp. Uh, it's about an hour and a half, two hour drive from where I live. Um... Yeah, I'd like to go there. I may even make a video this summer of that. Thank you for the question. Renee McDowell asks, what kind of wildlife do you see around there? And will you be fishing or hunting in your videos? Thanks in advance. Uh, wildlife here, I'm in kind of mid to southern Indiana. Um, deer and, you know, there's uh, coyotes and they say that there's rattlesnakes up here or a type of rattlesnake, but I've never seen one. 
They must wolves. be very rare. Well, coyotes. Not wolves, but coyotes are out here. Sometimes we see You know, we don't have elk. We don't have things like that. We don't have buffalo out here. I wish we had feral hogs, but we don't have those either. Um, Indiana's just a weird spot. We've got, you know, plenty of squirrels and things like that, but I think everybody has plenty of squirrels. When we went hunting, squirrels kept throwing nuts at us. Yes, I don't know if you heard her or not, but the last time we went hunting, we were in the blind because she's scared of heights, so she wouldn't get up in the uh, tree stand with me. But the squirrels kept getting over our heads and throwing stuff down at our blind and making all kinds of noise, and we're up here like, shut up, get out of here. So, uh, yeah. I think that's all the questions. Hold on, I know I skipped over one because I know I read it earlier. Oh, there it is. Ronald asks, where did the name Pooter Stomper come from? What does that even mean? Uh, I'm not proud of this, but when I was younger, I used to fight a lot. Uh, I was a very big hothead. You know, somebody looked at me wrong, I would punch them in the mouth. I'm not proud of that, like I said. That's not me anymore. But I remember getting in a fight one time, and one of my buddies was like, man, you just stomped his Pooter. Ever since then, that's... That's been a nickname. It's kind of a stupid nickname, but when I decided I was going to name my channel, I really didn't know what else to call it, just because that's what I'm known as. So, thank you for the question. Carly asks, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Well, of course, I watch, you know, all the Bushcraft channels, you know, Joe Robinette, and uh, Matthew Pose is one of, one of my favorite ones. Um, you know, I love watching Harley Davidson videos and motor vlogs and things like that. Um, you know, I used to love the Angry Grandpa show. Rest in peace, Angry Grandpa. Um, but I got to tell you, my favorite YouTuber of all time, and he's not a very big YouTuber at all. He's only got like 6,000 subscribers, but I've been watching him for years. And his channel is Bill Dixon. Uh... He does a lot of cooking videos, and he does a lot of uh, outdoor videos, hunting, and he stays in his canvas tent during the winter to do uh, deer hunting. And I don't know what it is about his videos. I just love them. I've been watching them for years. Um, if you guys get a chance, really check out Bill Dixon's channel. Um, I, if you like my stuff, you might like his because he's probably my biggest inspiration. I, I don't copy him at all. Him and I make you know, pretty much different different kind of stuff but you know he's definitely the, the inspiration for me to actually want to do this kind of stuff to want to do a YouTube channel if you will I hope I didn't miss any of your questions uh, if I did I'll try to answer them on the next video I'm gonna do my best to come out with a video next weekend as well uh, we'll see how it goes but for now we've only got a little bit of daylight left we're probably gonna play some cards or something you wanna play some cards play some cards and uh, hit the sack there is one more thing that I wanted to mention to you guys uh, many of you have been asking me to start a PayPal and a patreon and things like that um, but if you've watched my other videos you know I'm kinda weird about that stuff I don't really want you guys to give me anything but I went ahead and did it um, for those of this is just for the ones who have been bugging I don't want to say you're bugging me because none of you guys are bugging me but the ones that are just uh, you know insistent on me starting that because you really want to help out the channel I appreciate it but I just want to let you guys know this is the only time I'll ever mention a PayPal or a patreon or anything like that you'll never hear me talk about it again um, it's just for the ones who really wanted to help out the channel for those of you who can't do that just keep liking, uh, you know, keep watching the videos. That's support enough for me. I appreciate it. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. We're going to play a little bit of cards. I'm going to do a little reading that book that I showed you earlier. And then I'm going to hit the sack. Uh, until the next one, take care, and I appreciate you watching.